Hello, adventurers! I'm Gray, and welcome back to Graveyard Keeper. And I'm feeling pretty good. There's not actually any comments to really go over from last time that would really help me right now. Because I feel like I kind of get a grasp on things, I kind of know what I'm doing. And I'm thinking of working on some quests, getting some things done, helping people out. Because, as you know, I am such a helpful guy. I want to help everyone I see. I want to be the best man so I can get everyone's respect and friendship so I can abuse it to get the products and money that I need. Okay? I'm such a great person. Anyway, I need to speak to the merchant right now because it is merchant day and I have some hiccup grass for him. Because, like I said, I need to get his respect and friendship by helping him out with his problems so he can work with me on our farm and stuff. So there you go. Oh, thank you. I'll eat it right now. Hopefully that helps you. What a strange taste. Hmm, now I taste nothing. Great, that hiccup grass came with the side effect of losing your taste. Wait a second, let me take a bite of the spicy cookie I have in my pocket. Do not taste it at all? Why, it's tasteless. I sense nothing at all. What did you give me? Just what you asked for, hiccup grass. Oh my god, it's happened. It's the curse. Once when I was young, I was told that I'd lose the most important thing in my life. Your, your, your taste? Your sense of taste? Who told you that? <laughs> An old fortune teller. I was traveling with my caravan in the desert across the northern mountains. We stopped at an oasis and there was this old woman. Everything she said came true. And now this. I'm sorry to hear that. Wait a minute. Do you know any witches? Well, as a matter of fact... <laughs> no. <laughs> I only know fairy princesses. Hmm, the Inquisitor probably burned them all. If old Clotho was still alive, she was pretty old when I was young. If she's still alive, she must be a real wit. Uh, witch, I guess. You should find her in the center of the western swamp. Tell her that the merchant and priest who used to buy the love potions from her need help. I'm sure she'll remember us. You were a priest? I could use your services. Aw, oh, his brother. No, my brother was the priest. I don't want to talk about it. So I'm counting on you, my friend. Bring me a cure for this curse. All right, I'll see what I can do. Great. So I have got to go speak to Clotho again. I don't think I've built the bridge to get over to Clotho's place yet. And I probably need to do that. I forget what resources I needed to do that, though. I know I was missing some things I needed. And I don't know what it is. So I'm just probably just going to use the wood I have and just make as much random stuff as I can. And hope that that'll be enough to build whatever I need to build. I might also need to spend some metal. Which means I'm probably going to need to mine some iron at some point. Because we're running we're running quite low on iron, to be honest. I have 6 metal scraps, 8 simple iron parts, 14 nails. That should be enough for now, I'm hoping. We do need a couple more wood pieces, so we're going to do that. Okay, I'm going to hope I have all the resources I need on me. I made quite a few pieces of wood materials and things like that. If it's not, you can yell at me, that's fine. <laughs> Oh, a new body. Okay. At least it's immediately indoors, not out here in the in the cold and the wet rain and stuff. So it should be alright in terms of quality. I gotta find my way to the middle now without spending all my stamina on getting iron. I do need more iron though is the thing. So I'm gonna get some along the way. Did I already eat all my food? I think I already ate all my food that I had, right? I have carrots. I could eat raw carrot. How much would this restore? Five. Okay, not really worth it, but it was worth a shot. It was a learning experience that matters. Uh, where do we go again? <laughs> okay, I've made it all the way through just as things are starting to get super foggy, so that's good. There's quite a lot of iron still scattered around here, though. Ah, uh, perfect. Okay, we have, we have what we need. Please don't take too much stamina to make. And I think we're good. I think we're good. Yeah, there we go. We have the bridge. That'll make things so much simpler to come back and forth. And we can also come back and get the iron later on as well now, a lot easier. But let me go speak to Cloth though and see what she has to say about the merchant's predict- Oh, what's going on here? That was a bit weird. There we go, iron. And this is like Minecraft. Mind up some iron, gonna make some armor. Clotho. Did Clotho go in? Oh, I think Clotho went inside. You know what, it's fine, it's fine. Even if she's not outside right now, we can get here super easily, so we can come back later. I'll go, I'll go get some rest first. What's a good old outside rest going? A meditation in the garden. It's a, it's a unique experience, you know, just chilling out. It's good for the body and the soul. You know, meditation is something I've always wanted to try. I hear it's really good. 
Is this slower than sleeping? I feel like this is slower than sleeping. Let me, let me try sleeping and seeing what the difference is. You can I can neither confirm nor deny. Sleeping feels faster. I don't know if that's true. You can tell me in the comments. I'm not sure though. It might be the exact same. It might be just because I'm used to sleeping. Alright, and before we do anything else, let's get some iron smelting. Alright, we got 47 iron smelting, so that should last us to a good while, hopefully. At least that's the goal. I used up all my stamina doing that, but you know what? It's fine. We'll, we'll, be, we'll be set up in that resource for a good time. And I can probably... Oh, I don't really have the faith again, because I spent it all on snakes, so I can't really do the quest for today yet. I need another church day, and then I should have enough. You know, I was just thinking that we needed some more carrots to put into the donkey bin, so let's get it going. We're probably not going to have enough seeds left for both gardens, not only for one. It's fine. We'll get a little bit more planted. Uh, my inventory's full. Man, inventory fills up quick. Oh, I gotta drop these stories some somewhere. Okay, grab some compost and delete the rest. Destroy. Build. Destroy. <laughs> oh man, that was a bad show. <laughs> Actually, I thought that the quest for today was for Miss Charm, but no, it's it's the uh, the Inquisitor. However, I still can't do his quest yet. Stay away from me! Oh, I'll bite your butt off! You're with the Inquisition now, aren't you? No, I don't support the Inquisition. I'm just trying to get home. That's good to hear. Sounds like an honest answer. I don't like them either, but I bet if someone dug me up a thousand years... There would be one group of people hurting another group of people, all for the common good. And there would be guys like you saying, I don't support blah, blah, blah. You're probably right. <laughs> Dang it, Jerry. Stop criticizing my political beliefs. Oh, I gotta give him wine as well. I got... What, what quality wine do I need to give you? Silver quality? Don't I also need a silver quality wine for the Inquisitor as well? Yeah, silver star wine. Dang it. I need to make 10 of them for him though, so I gotta make 11 if I include one for Jerry. Oh, these guys are losing their quality quick, fairly quickly. Quicker than I expected. I mean, I suppose it's better than being outside. It's still not the best. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> well, I can remove his blood. And I believe that will improve his quality. I can also remove his fat. Actually, what, what else was I supposed to remove to improve his quality? I think it's fat, right? That'll make him last longer. There we go. Yeah. Okay. And that's as good as it's going to get, I think. Though I, I should probably look up what removing body parts does. Apparently, from what I've read, it's a good idea to get embalming. Because it's a very useful skill for making bodies have the highest quality possible. Now, it'll probably take a little bit more time for me to get it. But I can kind of work towards it. Because right now, there's I have no real limits on much I can do. I can sort of pursue whatever goal I want to. I can work on the graveyard, I can get blue points if I want to, I can do basically whatever I feel like. Which is good. I would like to build a columbarium at some point. Flower beds would be nice too, though they're not necessary. Let's put a gravesite up here, because it's a perfect size for it, and here as well. There we go. And we're gonna bury two bodies. We gotta we gotta up the quality of this graveyard. So now it's at nine, it was at ten. So it's going to be minus one for both of these bodies, probably, but that's fine. That's fine, because we're going to improve it by putting on some nice um, fences, some nice grave posts. It's going to be good. Tombstones. All right, donkey. Some more for you. There you go. Enjoy the carrots. It's all yours. I'm extracting a heart right now, because I know it removes two skulls randomly. I read about different things that do things. Perfect. Okay, it removed both of the red skulls. So it's not going to have many whites, but... Apparently, if you're lucky, you can do a sort of strategy where you increase the number of... You embalm it, you, you remove certain things to increase the number of like red skulls a certain amount, and then you remove the heart to, if you're lucky, remove two red skulls, and then you can remove the blood and the fat, and then that'll bring it up to zero reds and like seven whites. But you have to get pretty lucky for that to work out. But you know what? It's fine. This body is already pretty decent quality. There you go. Plus two. It's at zero. That, that works out. It's somehow even better than this one, just because that has red. And this one only has whites. So, that's cool. We don't have any... We don't have any gravestones and fences. And I do want to unlock a higher quality 
gravestone and fence at some point. I think it's in theology. Yeah, stone gravestones. We can probably do that one. Carved will take a little bit more effort, but we're, we're going to get there. For now, let's work on stone. Because it's pretty easy to get stone. We have tons around our area. And we can probably upgrade like all of these markers and fences here to much higher quality ones to improve the graveyard. So I'm just going to make a ton of different stone pieces to the graveyard and just upgrade everything and make us the prettiest graveyard that there ever done was. It's going to be so, so quaint, so nice. Low-key cute, though. <laughs> I just realized that to make a lot of the new stone gravestones and stuff, I'm going to need the stone cutter too, which is going to need a lot more red points and blue points than I currently have, which means I'm going to be needing to use up probably some iron making complex parts and stuff like that. I kind of should have some complex parts on me anyway, just in case, but... I need to find what the best way is to get red points. I know just crafting a lot of stuff is good, too. So that should be a good strategy. Like, making, I think, wooden beams using complex parts. Like, I'm going to make some of these because I might need them in the future anyway. And I think these give a good amount of red points. Yeah, they do. Okay. But it costs a lot of energy as well. Okay. What can we do for the astrology right now? Collect the old keeper's diary from the church. So, okay. I'm, I'll work on... Oh, I was going to go back to the cellar today, wasn't I? Dang, I completely lost track of what I was doing. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll get to it. I'll get to it in this episode. It's fine. Okay, I'll hop out early because I feel like I should probably check out the cellar again before before anything else. Let's drop this stuff off. Okay. I wonder if Snake's still in there. Probably not. I think it needs to be his like time to do it. Or for him to be there at least. But I should still be able to st come on in and see what's here. Okay. There's a crafting table. Oh no, he is still here. Well, just well. How did you do it? I don't know, I just went back to my hut. Great, I should be used to it. Life's good. Life gives me lemons all the time. You're such a useless idiot and yet you're immortal. That's totally not fair. I hate you. Hard own? I HATE YOU! Let me write this down. Graveyard Keeper. Can't die. Hmm. Actually, I could use your help. Now that your immortal butt is here, I decide that I don't want to die in this dungeon. What dungeon? Right up there. It was here even before the church, and nobody knows how deep it goes. In ancient times, they nailed heretics to the walls and scorched their legs. Before the ancient contract. How can I help? I have my sources, so I always know where to find what I need. And at this point in my plan for retribution, a lot of things I need are in that dungeon. First, I need a bucket of blood, and five bloody nails. You should be able to find them on one of the first levels where the pagans were tortured. Sounds like someone moaning for help again. Great. Yeah, that's about right. Are you there? Maybe, maybe not. This place hides many things. Not that I care, unless it has to do with my plan. I mean, what could your plan possibly be? Can I, like, not auto move, please? Hmm, I should check. Uh, what's over here? Can I even go in there? Holy guacamole! Indeed, what a pleasant surprise. I've been so desperate to see someone again. Are you alive? Do you need help? I should say I'm conscious, and I'm glad to hear you so kindly offer your help. My name is Gunter. There should be a lever on the right. Hey, I'll pull that lever. Got it. Great, I'm surprised it's still working. Now would you be so kind as to hit me with your sword a couple of times? Will you first answer the question? Please hit me first. I haven't felt anything for so long. Alright, that's fine. Boop. Boop. Oh, that's good. <laughs> oh, das good. Das in tag. Guten tagen. First feeling I've had for many years. Now I'll be happy to answer your questions. <laughs> Who are you? Like I said, I'm Gunda. <laughs> are you dead? Hmm, that's a complicated question. Personally, I prefer to be called an undead person. But in popular culture, we're known as zombies. Why did you ask me to hit you? Oh, in my current situation, I can feel nothing. First, it was a nightmare, but then I found out that I can still feel pain. It doesn't feel like pain, though. More like a gentle breeze. But still, it's all I have. I can hit you again if you like. That's very kind of you, but I must refuse. 
I don't know what I'm doing with this accent. <laughs> After so many years, your strikes were truly a pleasure. It will be a couple of years before I can feel anything like it. And I have too little flesh on my bones to waste it. How did you become a uh, zombie? Er, undead. Science plus a little bit of magic. The old master made me. Actually, he made a lot of us. Do my brothers still work at the graveyard? No, I think there's only you. By the way, I'm the new graveyard keeper. Oh, then you should make me some more brothers. They'll be a big help for you. Is this the, the allies that I was told about earlier? Oh my gosh. I sort of like dogs to help me around, be all cute and be friendly. No, I got a bunch of zombies help me out. No, I did mention skeletons earlier, so I guess this is just like the alternative, the nicer version, if you if Minecraft's any indication, because skeletons suck in Minecraft. How can I make new undead? Oh, it's quite simple. You can find a resurrection table blueprint on the rack to your left. There should also be a couple bottles of the main re resurrection ingredients nearby. You can make more at the alchemy desk. Do you know the recipe? Well, the second ingredient is blood. I'm not sure about the first, but I think it's some kind of powder. Will they be like you? Sadly, no. I'm unique. Something went wrong with me. I was too smart. That's why the old master chained me here. I didn't fit in. I can unchain you. I have been chained, chained up here for too long. My flesh is too rotten. Plus, I kind of like it here. How many brothers help you? Oh, they can do simple crafts for you. If you give them the right gear, they'll be able to gather resources for you and even transport them. What gear? Hmm, I believe one zombie should be buried under the rocks along the path to the forest. You can dig him up and examine his gear. Okay. Well, he's just repeating that. Past the forest area to the north of the church. Buried somewhere under the rocks. Okay, north of the church, on the pass, under the rocks. Okay. Resurrection table, cool. And some zombie juice. Oh. Tasty. <laughs> uh, I completely forgot you can break those pots and stuff. I was like, that looks like something I can smash. Let me try smashing it. And yeah. I need to do that more often if I see that kind of stuff, just so I can see what I get out of it. Like these crates over here, I can probably just go... Oh no, can't. Can I repair this? Oh no, I think I'm just chopping it. Eh, pretty much. That's the only one I can chop down, though. Is there anything else I can break around here? I just want a smash. Hulk smash. What is this? Can I put... I was going to say, can I put my head in this? That's probably not an ideal thing to do. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but that seems like a bad idea. What about this bench here? Chop it down. Make this place look better. Get some ingredients while we're at it. For cheap. For free, actually. Other than some energy cost. What can I craft here? Is this where you make the zombie? Zombie th skulls and... What is this? Dark design desk? Freaking... I'm dealing with the devil here. It costs skulls. Oh my gosh. Well, from what this looks like, this is just some demonic decor. Or satanic decor that you can make of skulls. It does seem to improve... A sort of demonic quality in here which I'm not sure what that does but I must do something at least somewhat nice can I kind of okay I can kind of sneak around that that's good what about this this seems like a bit of a torture device boop, boop, boop. hello hello oh did I I completely missed I, m I missed a couple dang it <laughs> Did I not pause? I thought I paused the game earlier because I had to do some stuff around my place, but I, I must have missed the priest day. Whatever. Whatever. Dang. Okay, well we got the keeper's diary at least, so we can not have to worry about it later. What's this on the ground here? There's something here. Wheat seeds. Can I drop? I'm gonna eat my carrots. Onion seed. Okay, it's, it's a type of seed I don't have yet, so that's good. You know what? I might as well just take a look inside, just just to see. This is like going into the mines in Stardew Valley. It's like a whole separate section. That's not reassuring. In fact, I probably should have slept before I came down here, because I feel like it's going to cost quite a lot of energy to dig through everything and mine through everything. And just swing my sword in general. I'll take a quick look around, though, just to be safe. Hello! That's a bat. Jerk. Die. Die. Stop. 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 Oh. Yeah, that's, that's what I thought. Well, I guess I'm gonna leave then. 
Yeah, I don't have the energy for this right now. Is there anything else you have to tell me, Snake, other than getting bloody nails and a bucket of blood? I was told that you could get some illegal stuff for me. If you heard that I could do something, then I probably can, but one good turn deserves another. Oh! Okay, so that's why I need to get him these... If I can get him both of these things, I can get a town pass and a royal stamp without needing to spend any money on it. That is great. That's great. Now, I'm not sure if Snake's always going to be here. Maybe I'm going to need to wait for Snake Day from here on out, but... It's good to know that he's going to be in that area and that I can now get the good stuff from him if I just explore the dungeon a bit. So, yeah. That's great. And there's red points everywhere. Red points galore. If it will actually get inside me. Woo. Well, I think this is a good time to hop off for this episode. We got a lot done. We explored a good amount. We know what to do with Snake now. And there's still so much to do every single day. I'm excited. So I'm going to end it off here. Hopefully you all enjoyed this episode of Graveyard Keeper. If you did, I'd appreciate a like, comment, and a subscription. It really does help. And I hope to see you all on the next bedtime.